I am here to give you my five minute scalping strategy that will literally help you grow any account size, regardless if it is a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, five hundred, five thousand, ten thousand. It does not matter what your account size is. That is because this strategy applies for any time frame and any account size. We're going to break it down here. So if you guys don't know who I go, I go by the name of Solo ETV Trading. This is my channel. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tune in so you don't miss out on any other fire gems. I do rather if it's live or recorded pre-recorded sessions that I do here. So let's get straight to it. So first and foremost, this strategy applies mainly for trending market so regardless of whatever commodity you trade whatever pair you trade whatever indice you trade it works now however this does work best for any volatile pairs or commodities or indices such as gold us oil uk oil or anything from indices like nasdaq us 30 and s p so if you are a trader that likes to trade those this would apply best for you guys now first and foremost you have to identify the direction of the trend and the easiest way to identify the direction of a trend is by simply looking on a higher scale or you can stay on the five minute to look for that as well now simply with us oil we're on a five minute scale and we can clearly see that the market is going up at this time. Now, one way to identify this is by waiting on internal lows or internal highs to break through. So if you're looking right at market here, we see that this is our most recent low after we broke through this most recent low this now identified the change of direction and also identified that hey we're now in a uptrend so before we buy anything and the reason why we're not going to buy the breakout is because we want to make sure we can get in at a good position now when it comes to this strategy regardless if it's a supply demand level in order block or key level they all apply the same direction or, or the same sense. You want to make sure you look for your key, your, your key level, your supply or your demand level roughly in the middle of that trend. And what do I mean by that is in order for you to figure out how far this trend is or how long this trend is, you have to identify the internal structures. So if you look here at this top part here, you notice that this is my most recent low. Now, this trend can continue to go up. However, if we were to break through this low right here, this low right here, this now confirms that this is the highest point of the range and this is the lowest point of the range. And the reason why this one is the lowest point of the range is because we broke through this internal high. So what we're going to do is go ahead and fast forward this and see exactly where market is going. Now, immediately, as you see, market instantly broke through our most recent low which is this here. Now that being said, we are now going to wait on one important thing. And that important thing is to wait on market to come to anywhere in the middle of that range. Now, somewhere in the mid of that range and the way for you to find this out is using your Fibonacci, drawing it from the beginning of that trend to the end of the trend and figuring out where's that 50% mark is at. But you wanna look for your either supply demand level there your support resistance level there, your order block level, your key level, your institution level, your level needs to be in that area. And the reason being is because this is roughly where we're going to be looking to take our entry. Now, let's say for whatever reason, we have multiple order block levels in the same area. As you see, we have one here. We also have another level here. Now, you can absolutely trade the uh, extreme is what I like to call it point which is this here because this basically gives you a better reward and a less risk and i am going to talk about that now now when we're entering in this trade the reason why we're waiting on pullbacks is because we want to get a good position less risk and more reward this is how we grow our accounts this is how i grow my accounts when you guys see via live streams that we do every single day but when we are in a trade we're simply going to take a position entry once we start to see that reaction of market tapping into our key level, right? So we're going to go ahead and fast forward this again. And now the moment we are seeing this rejection of wick rejections and golfing candles and all of that, that is when we can now essentially enter in the market. So what we're going to do is wait on the closure of the candle before we enter. But the most important things you guys want to do in a trade 
is you always want to make sure your stop loss is a few pips below this low here which is your order block supply demand zone key level and whatever but you want to make sure you put your low there you don't want to do a 10 pip 20 pip or so forth you want to make sure your low is there now let's say that this trade decides to go left you do have a 60 percent chance of this trade going in your favor in the midpoint if you wait on it to come more to the bottom of that range you have a higher probability of it going in your favor and not stopping you out but we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, go based off what the market is telling us now when we're taking these trades the next step is you want to make sure you draw out your fibonacci from point a which is the beginning of the trend to the end of the trend and then within that uh, let me go ahead and change the color so you guys can see it within that you will want to immediately make sure you adjust your uh, tp to the Fibonacci points, which will be your negative 27 and negative 618. And if you guys don't have these settings, you can definitely pause the video and watch where I just had the settings at, and you can go ahead and adjust it to that. So let's say that we took an entry here. We know that 60%, this can still go in our favor. However, we know if we stick with this way of trading, this can definitely take our account to the next level, especially if the trade decides to come further down, we know we can do a higher risk and uh, or higher reward but low risk because of the fact by this time we know it's not going to come to that low so let's go ahead and say we enter here stop loss is literally going to be a couple pips below this low here let's go ahead and actually redo that and we're going to go ahead and take this buy position here now as you see immediately we were close to hitting our stop loss but the reason why i like to put my stop loss below the actual order block or supply demand level is because it still have wiggle room I know that every key level, banks, algorithms, uh, big banks, institutionals, they like to play around that level because they know a lot of sellers and a buyer, our buyers are in this and they know a lot of pending orders are in. So they're either taking that or making new orders, right? So that right there is how you can take any account size and grow it to whatever you want to grow it based off our live streams you guys see we do all the time now before uh, we end this i do want to talk to you about one special thing now i want to introduce you to a new platform called trade locker if you guys are familiar with what i use to trade with when i'm live i use funder pro and i use ospring fx now the beauty of trade locker is for those that love to look at trade and view like myself trade locker will literally give you the ability to trade as if you're in trading view because for one it is powered by trading view so i want to kind of show you some cool features that you guys can do while using trade locker for offspring fx or funder pro if that is who you want to go for for your broker now if you look here on your right hand side you basically have access to all of the different pairs you can trade like dollar dex uh us oil so one of my top you got also uh, us 30 a nasdaq you have gold as well and all you want to do is type in gold uh, you want to actually type in the actual symbol and it will pop up now the beauty of this is we have everything we have just as like trading view we have our indicators here we have the templates we can change that but most importantly we have all of the drawing tools and the features that we use and my favorite is the fibonacci itself right if i'm inside a trade and i want to use the fibonacci i can definitely use that the beauty of the fibonacci is once again, you can change the settings as you guys know what my settings should be. Watch a couple clips back of this video and you will see the settings, but you can change the settings. And then most importantly, guys, you can do a lot more with Trade Locker. Not only that, but they literally made it as simple as, hey, let's say you want to do a standard lot. You put it in and you just hit buy and then hit confirm. Or you can just do one clicking where you don't have to worry about the confirm. And imme immediately when you do that, the trade will be active and you will literally see it here meaning you don't have to go on MT4 or MT5 to trade. You can simply make money all at once. Now, right now, this is on beta. They are working on the app, and they're working on a lot more cool features right now. So you definitely want to make sure you get in it now so you can definitely get user-friendly with this or get to the ability to feel comfortable with this. And by the time they have everything open and ready, you guys would be even more solid with this. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and continue back what I was mentioning earlier about this strategy. Now, once again, guys, with this strategy, like I said earlier, you can take this to further TPs, right? And how you would do that is 
every time the trade goes and hit that TP1, if you're looking just to do one big trade, you can. However, for me, I like to get in multiple trades and get out at TP1, which is usually my first one-to-one -one trade, which is usually roughly around my high. So what I like to do is enter in multiple trades. So how I like to do this is I'll enter one trade here, and then I'll have another entry, same, roughly about the same position, but I'll take that second one up here. So usually this first trade, I probably make around 500 to 1,000, and then take this on to the second TP. I'm looking at another 1,000 or 1,500, but my stop loss gets moved to break even. So if this trade ever goes against me, I basically still made money for the day. And that right there is how you will grow your account. Now, if you guys really like this type of video, make sure you comment down below. I want more like this solo, and I will continue to give you more fire five minute one minute scalping strategy videos and other than that guys see you in my next video see my live if you're going to tune in most importantly your boy solo subscribe like the video peace